praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Now, blessed listeners, this is uh, what the Lord has to say. The Lord spoke with me again this past night. Uh, the Lord had a tremendous conversation with his servant this past night again. And in this conversation, this is part of a, continu a continuing conversation between the Lord and the earth. And in this conversation, the Lord it took me to a place. And in that place, I can see the sea. Then I saw that the water from the sea and began to make in roads, began to flood the land. So I could see clearly what used to be roads from above. The Lord lifted me above the earth. So I could see that what was roads, what was road, has now been flooded. And you can see how the little outlines of the roads are remaining. And the fields are flooded. There was a great fear. People were running away. And uh, because the, the flood had come into the fields, into the cities, and I see uh, people running also, running away. Even a few minutes ago now, as I was making this phone call, the Lord flashed it to me again. I saw I saw a woman that has tied her head. She's running. She's running. The flood, uh, the flood is coming, and so the water came from the sea and flooded the land and I see and in the process I see the demarcation like small margins of lines that show that this was a road from above this was a road this was an airport this was a, so and I see a lot of people that have gone now taken shelter in different places and then when I look at the people there I see that they are Israelis and so there are floods that are coming to Israel and the Lord has previously spoken about the big shaking that is going to take place under the sea, the Mediterranean Sea, the sea that I talked about here. The big shaking that will take place at the bottom of the sea, on the bedrock of the sea, and how the water would tilt this way and tilt this way and pour into the land and pour back the ocean to the sea and pour back to the land and flood the land. And you see very clearly that barely 24 hours after that notice and prophecy I gave, then there was a big drill that took place in Israel. Drill, an exercise, a practice on a tsunami, emergency services and everybody else, again, David Adom and all these people running the ambulances out to see how to evacuate people. But now the Lord has spoken again. Now I've seen that the floods are now coming. The floods are coming to precious Israel, to blessed Israel. And I see that now the water of the sea combined with the land. So it flowed the sea. The sea did listen to the words of my tongue. And the sea now disobeyed the borders of the land and came out. The sea came out and the flooding, and I see some people, and see a lot of Israelis in some shelter where they've gone to, people fearing that the floods have come, have closed them in, they cannot get this other side. And I see this other man who is speaking with me, he has just gotten his new his shirt, he's trying to iron his shirt in the new room where he has the shelter place, to wear this long shirt, which has a design around the waist, it's a long shirt, a long jacket actually, it's a long jacket, with a, as a design around the back, coming from the waist like this, towards the center of the back, it goes larger a bit and then narrows again towards the waist, the other edge of the waist. And I see them there. So I see floods coming to Israel. I hear them speaking in Hebrew. The Lord took me there. I spoke with them. I was conversationing with them yesterday in the dream at night. So the Lord is going to shake the bottom of the sea. And then there's going to be a flood because I see now the sea has obeyed my words and come out. But these are very important times because the Lord is saying that he is now speaking to Israel from this end. 
And indeed, we all know that for a long time, Israel has needed to be spoken to. They have waited for somebody to speak to them from Jehovah their God. And the Lord is now speaking to Israel that floods are coming. That means time is fast running out. But the Mecca of Israel, the God of Israel that we worship, he is now beginning to draw the attention of the Israelites to himself and to his servant, that they may know that he is speaking to them, that he has some requirements about this hour, that the Israeli society that is very secular, as you see as at now, where sexual sin is so rampant, probably one of the most immoral countries I have seen on the entire face of the earth, where homosexuality is a big thing, they have gay parade in Tel Aviv, they have gay rights and all these things, where there is atheism, and I remember very well when I was in Ghana, the Lord took me to the highest mountain on the earth, to the Himalayas, and he showed me Israelis on top of the mountain worshipping there, worshipping yoga and other eastern gods sitting on top of the mountain, gazing at the sun. I remember that very well right now. So the Lord is longing to have the Israelites also worship him. And he's saying that even with the heedlessness, even with the atheism that is so big in Israel, where a large population simply don't believe in God anymore, the Lord is saying that Israel is still the center of the earth. And that his heart is still longing for the Israelites to be drawn back to him. And that now he is using the prophet of Israel to speak to Israel from this end. That they may also repent and receive Jesus the Lord. Jesus the Messiah. Yeshua that when the Messiah comes, they too may be part of this wonderful, glorious kingdom of God. Again, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. I remember a few days ago, he spoke with me about shaking the sea, the bottom of the sea, the bedrock of the sea. And I said that it is not an ocean, it is a sea. And in shaking the bottom of the sea, water would flow this way, and this way from the sea, this way, the way it is in a swimming pool, when an earthquake hits a swimming pool, it floods out, and go back in and floods out, and I saw that, when the floods came, and then we see that slightly more than 24 hours after that notice, there was a serious drill that took place in Israel on tsunami, tsunami warning, a practice to practice that in case it happens. And now we see that again, two days later from that practice, the Lord has spoken with me about the massive flood that is coming to Israel. Surely the Lord, he loves Israel and is warning Israel eh, to be prepared for this event. But most importantly, to calibrate their spiritual clocks and know that Israel, even as atheist as Israel is now, where the largest percentage of the population simply do not believe in God anymore, the God of Israel. Where many young men finish the army and, and young women and they rush to the east and sit on the Mount Everest and begin to worship the sun there and yoga and other eastern gods. The Lord has brought all these things to my attention. And the Lord is saying that with all that sexual sin, homosexuality, with all that happening in Israel now, that atheism, Israel is still the center of the earth and is still the apple of God's eye now. And that now he's beginning to speak to Israel using the prophet of Israel from Kenya here, from Africa now. And the message is clear that at this time the Lord is asking Israel to remember her first love to go back to Yeshua, to go back to Jehovah, and that they may prepare for the glorious coming of the glorious kingdom of God. Israel has a central place even in the end time prophecy of the Bible and its fulfillment. 
And that's why now there are floods coming. Finally, this past night, the Lord spoke to me about the floods, and I can see the floods pour. The sea and the land are now together. I can see the sea, the entire sea there, and then the water, and then the whole water into the land. There is no demarcation now. Which means the sea obeys the words of my tongue. And the sea finally comes out. And you could see the demarcations of the road, that this used to be a road, by slight little lines. This used to be an airport, and so forth. And I see Israelis in shelters. The Lord will protect Israel. However, the Lord wants the Israelites, the Israelis, He wants the Jewish people, He wants His firstborn to return to Him and worship Jesus. They know that he has sent them a servant and is speaking to Israel from Africa now. That the Lord, the God of Israel, is the protector of Israel. There is no greater protector of Israel. The provider and the protector of Israel is Jehovah. And for the rest of the nations of the earth, now that the Lord focuses attention on Israel, this becomes a very critical moment to understand the spiritual implication of this. That this tells us that really time has run out, that the Messiah, the Lord, He is coming for the glorious church. May those who have ears listen to the tremendous words of Jehovah, the mighty and great God of Israel, the God of Elijah and Moses. Shalom, Haverim. Shalom, Shalom. Better it's